If you've clicked on this video wondering what exactly a soap wash is, well, hopefully in this vid I'll be able to explain to you on how I use them on my models, how to create them and utilize them for essential name details, adding weathering, and also other parts of grime, and, and rather than using oils or enamels. Let's dive into it. For this example, I'll be using some Vallejo and some Tamiya paints, as well as just some Equate liquid clear liquid hand soap from a pump, which is pretty commonly found here in the US. It's not very hard to find, as well as you can just use some dish soap, as I've even created my own little wash in a bottle, a Tamiya bottle to be exact, with some pre-mixed paints, which basically created my own grime. Uh, now for this example, I actually made a mistake. So I'd say the Tamiya example is a little bit better because for this mixture, I don't have the numbers really for it because I'm not really a numbers guy and I'm pretty terrible with numbers. And uh, you can experiment with yourself on your own, uh, which, you know, I, I apologize if you wanted, you know, a completely accurate measurements, but really it's just something that it isn't, it's not entirely required for something like that. All you need to do is have an equal balance of soap, water, and paint, just so you can get a nice flow, almost as if you are working with enamels or oils in some way. But I'd say these, this is more comparable to enamels, because with oils, they have a capillary action, which means they accentuate details much better and easier. But of course, oils have a slower drying time than in most situations. Then why should I use acrylics over enamels and oils, you might ask. You no, know, and make a very good point that, you know, enamels and oils are much better when being removed, uh, manipulated, and adjusted, especially when they're drying. And also you can even buy, for example, AK retarder for, you know, just slowing down the drying time of your models. And also in my experience, the AK retarder has been known to uh, turn your acrylics into more like enamels, you know, as a nice wash and for easy manipulation uh, during the drying process. But uh, it's more for cost effectiveness than, you know, than which one is better. Uh, the acrylics dry fast, but, you know, in some cases, again, you'll have the acrylics, you know, be thinned down or maybe a little bit more than your average wash, then it'll probably take about five to 10 minutes for them to dry. But nonetheless, it's more bang for a buck from when you're buying a, a liquid clear hand soap pump that you saw earlier. It comes in a large amount of liquid. And for comparison, when you look at the little AK retarder bottle, uh, and in this case, it, it'll be 17 mils. I get that for five smackaroos from my local hobby shop. And for the little one dollar liquid hand soap pump which comes in 221 mils which i'd say is pretty bang for buck for when you're buying it on you know, a large amount it'll last you a long time and it practically does the same thing of slowing down the drying time of your paint even in some cases when you add more soap than paint in your mix you can even remove it but uh, also just be be careful not to overdo it of course you want to have a nice equal balance of paint, soap, and water. Otherwise, it would just, you know, throw it off balance in most cases uh, from what I've experienced, and it would just completely ruin it. So keep that in mind. And I think another important question that needs to be asked is what exactly is the purpose of the soap for when you're creating a soap wash? Why shouldn't I just use, for example, a Vallejo uh, acrylic wash that already comes pre-thinned? and it has its own formula. Well, the soap helps relax the high surface tension of the water, which is, you know, generally, if you've tried to overly thin down your own acrylic paints before, you'll know that after it's done drying, it leaves an ugly coffee staining effect, which does not look good, and it doesn't really accentuate the details at all. Like, if I just only did that for the rivets and the bolts that you see there on the wheels, it just wouldn't get the job done. Uh, without the help of the soap unless you're a master with you know the acrylics then just using water then uh, i'm sure you have no issue with that but i'm nowhere near close to a master and also another thing important to 
add is that I am not the original idea creator uh, for this. I did not come up with this. Uh, I'm not the master of the plan. Uh, I actually got this from Quick Kits and also from Midwinter Minis who uh, he creates uh, Warhammer stuff and Quick Kits uh, sort of no longer posts anymore as, as if for now as he's also another scale model hobby YouTuber. Uh, but really, I'll leave links to both those videos that I discovered this on, a chalk wash, and also just adding some soap and matte medium. Uh, you'll see what I mean when you click on the videos. And really, it'll just show you why I'm using soap and how I where I got this idea from, those two uh, British guys. But overall, thank you so much for watching. I'll try and ask and or answer any more questions you have down below and I'll read through them all. So uh, really, I hope this helped you as much as it helps me, especially from now on, I remember this. So I'll see you all later.